Hey, what's up DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking refrigerators and freezers today. And in the event that your refrigerator or freezer is not cooling or freezing properly, we're going to show you a reset procedure that will hopefully get your refrigerator and freezer back up and running properly. Let's get started. All right, DIYers in the kitchen now. And here is our GE refrigerator. And unfortunately, both the freezer and refrigerator just stopped cooling and freezing. And You'll notice right here, the freezer is 28 degrees and the refrigerator is 55 degrees. Now we have them set at 36 for the refrigerator and negative one for the freezer. So as you can see, there's a big issue. What I want you to do first, up here is a switch and that switch basically is activated once you close the door. It turns off the light and it returns the entire system back to its proper configuration to properly cool both your refrigerator and freezer. So first step, go ahead and push this in and out three times and what that's going to do is reset the control board. One, two, three. Wait about three to five seconds. If your compressor down below in the back portion of your refrigerator turns on, great, you're back up and running. However, if it does not, let's go down to the freezer. And your freezer has one as well. We are going to do the exact same thing. One, two, three. And in our case, our compressor is up and running. We'll go ahead and close that. And again, wait about three to five seconds. Nothing happens. Let's go to our circuit breaker panel because it is easier to trip the breaker as opposed to pull this refrigerator out and gain access to the plug. at the household circuit breaker. And here's a gift from my parents, sunshine and salt water. How cool is that? I'll set that aside. And inside here are the circuit breakers. In our case, number two is the refrigerator. And at this point, what you wanna do is turn it off and leave it in the off position for five minutes. After five minutes, go ahead and turn it back on and head back to your refrigerator. Now, in the event that you can gain access to the plug to your refrigerator and unplug it at the outlet, do that as opposed to this. However, definitely know that that is an option as well. And we'll head back to the refrigerator. and you will open up the refrigerator. You will do the three-step reset. Once again, one, two, three, wait about three to five seconds, and hopefully your compressor and system will turn back on. If it does not, come back down below to your freezer, do the one, two, three on the switch, and hopefully you will hear that sound. And we just did that just a few minutes ago and got it back up and running. So what we'll do is monitor the temperatures. Again, the freezer's 28 and the refrigerator's 55. Go and make sure everything's shut. And what we'll do is come over to the time. It's 11.45 a.m. We'll wait about an hour or two and we'll show you the temperature change. And while we wait, a couple things can cause this. The most common cause is a power outage. We have all witnessed and experienced a power outage. And the most common reason this can happen is a quick power outage or a temporary power outage, meaning the power goes out for about three to five seconds and then comes back on. And unfortunately that can actually cause your refrigerator to go into stationary or protection mode to protect the internal parts and control board. However, I'll be real with you. We had a project yesterday and we were relabeling our entire circuit breaker panel because it was unorganized and mislabeled. Meaning one circuit breaker was labeled water heater, but it was not to the water heater. So during that project, we actually shut the circuit breaker off a couple times as we went throughout the entire place, figuring out which circuit breaker went to each location in the home. And then we continued to finalize that sheet that gave us a much more organized description of the circuit breakers inside the panel. All right, DIYers, it has been exactly one hour and 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and check out the temperatures. And we are at 23 and it was 28. And for the refrigerator, we're at 45, which it was 55. We are making progress and moving in the right direction. Hopefully this helps. DIYers, hey, do us a favor, below the video, you'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And one more thing, in the event that you hear a loud screaming or squealing sound coming from your refrigerator, definitely check out the link scrolling above. It is going to show you exactly what is going on and causing that. It's now 3.20 in the afternoon, and we're down to 10 and 36. It is 6.23 p.m. It's already dark out. Christmas tree is lit up. My grandma's letting me borrow that for the season. And as far as the temperatures, the refrigerator 
is right where we want it to be. I'm actually going to warm it up to 36. The freezer is just a couple degrees off from the safe and set temperature. And it's taken a while because it's empty. And that's normal. We haven't gone shopping yet. We just moved back in. And freezers are most efficient when they are packed full. Refrigerators are most efficient when there is space in between the food items. Just wanted to give you a quick update.